basically we design things um that i always wanted to have in manufacturing <laughs> women's, women's clothing does not have pockets that's the yeah. problem right now i'm wearing a pair of jeans that has fake pockets oh, that sucks. and or sometimes you have like these t tiny <laughs> tiny little <laughs> slots where you can't put anything <laughs> into and when i worked in manufacturing i needed to bring so, so many things me on the shop floor i needed safety glasses earbuds a pen i needed a spot to put my phone so you have so much stuff and you don't carry a purse with you around so yeah. if you have a bunch of fake pockets and have a lot of things to carry it was always so challenging why would the so designers even do that like, what, decided... the, what the hell is the point of a fake pocket uh, it's like it looks teasing. better that's the whole point <laughs> jesus christ so we decided Sorry. to design blazers with actual pockets nice uh, maybe i can move the camera a bit yeah, yeah. um I'll, I'll show some of the features so we have deep pockets for PPE to external. Nice. To external. Um, I will show you some manufacturing related features. So one thing that is not allowed in many manufacturing facilities is jewelry because it can get caught in machinery. So Makes you sense. Have a swivel clasp. We've all seen those pictures of uh, can... people that left a ring on and then used a lathe. And... Yeah. Ugh. yeah. Yep. Dangerous. Correct. So jewelry pocket or just any valuables that you may have want to keep can you hold it a little bit higher pocket. just because we're we're cropping kind of low here okay cool thanks oh, i'm sorry it. yeah <laughs> no this is good um then it has an adjustable like one of the blazers has this cool adjustable cinch waist depending on if you want to have a wider fit oh that's cool so it's like that's that's does it just get taken up in the back or how does that work i'm kind of i love fashion <laughs> more than i should <laughs> but this is this is fascinating to me okay. I, i'm really enjoying this Okay, cool. I see that. So, that's that's actually that's really neat how you did that. And and it's a combination between a utility jacket and a blazer because I wanted to create something that looks helps you look put together in a meeting, but it's still functional when you're up in the shop. It's almost reminiscent like, of like a like a Burberry trench coat. Like I want to say, like it's it's a really good yeah. look. <laughs> like, Thank you. You're welcome. Um, then it, it has um, a badge loop. Because you, nice. in most cases, you need a, a badge to get around from one location to the other. A pocket pen. Where's the badge loop? Is that just tucked under the lapel? I didn't really get a good look at that. It's, oh, nice. Okay, so it's not a badge wheel. It doesn't like retract, but it just gives you a spot no, to stash it. No, it's, it, so you it's can an just... elastic. You can you can attach your badge to it, so it's always available, or Got you can it. hide it in the pocket. That's cool. And then the other aspect is, um, it was super important to me to make it machine washable because sometimes yeah, you're in a fancy me meeting room, and then the next minute you're in a dirty, dusty shop floor or a construction site, so you need, you need clothes that you can throw into a washing machine. Nobody has time to go to a dryer, or who wants to pay for dry cleaners all the time? I mean, I, I have a service I that picks she... up the stuff from my place, but it, it gets very expensive, and I, I, it's not yeah, financially yeah. responsible. Yeah, and I worked in a well shop, so every time I would walk out, it would be like <laughs> well dust everywhere. <laughs> so you shouldn't wear like your uh, any white clothes, or because it would get dirty right away. Yeah, I buy that all the sputter. 